John 11.30 Upo de ele luce ha Jesus estein comen, au ein eti into topo, hapu, hup eintesen auto he Martha. Remember before this, Martha had told Mary, the teacher is here and he's calling you. She told her secretly and now we read, uh, now Jesus not yet had come into the village, that is the village of Bethany, but was still in the place where Martha met him. Let's take a look at this word, eleluthe. If you see that ending, you may think, is that present? Or you see that theta, you may think, is it passive? Well, this is just an irregular stem coming from the verb erkamai. Erkamai means to come or go. And I know this form's a little bit hard to recognize. Let me write out the normal paradigm for the for the form that we're dealing with here. Elelu cane, elelu cane, elelu case, elelu Ding, 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 ding. This is a pluperfect that we have right here. Again, it's maybe hard to recognize because it's not following the normal pattern where we would have reduplication, maybe additional augment on the beginning, the kappa, all of those things. It's because it's an irregular form, but it's a plu perfect, active, indicative, third person singular. Notice the pluperfect is normally translated with had. I had loosed, you had loosed, he had loosed here. Jesus not yet had come. Now Jesus not yet had come into the village. Let's also look at this verb down here, hoop antesen. This verb right here, hoop antesen. That comes from the lexical form, hoop on tao. As soon as we write that out, we say, oh yeah, that's a it's one of those compound verbs. It has a prepositional prefix, so I know the augment will come here. Indeed, it does. There's your augment. There's a sigma. Bam! That's going to be an aorist active indicative. This is a third-person singular ending because Martha, third-person singular, she is the subject. She met him. Someone may be wondering, why is this auto? Why is that the dative form there? Why, why not the accusative? Auton, isn't it the direct object? Met him. But if you look up this verb, hupantao, in a lexicon, it will say something like plus tini, that means plus something in the dative, or plus a dative object, or plus a dative complement. This is a verb that takes a complement or object in the dative case.